guys, welcome to an Urban Viking Hour review. Um, it's been about 30 minutes or so since I had that um, destruction, for destruction stout, and it's already hit me big time. But I did promise Brett that I'll try the Appetite one as well. So this is the same stout, but this is their coffee and coconut. So it's the same ABV, 8.8%, same awesome artwork. The thing is, when I drink the stouts, I don't know if other people are like this, but I love to just listen to like really sort of familiar music and just chill out with it. I mean, at the moment, I'm listening to a bit of um, a bit of um, Algazam, like a black metal band that I really like. So, poor probably know them. Um, yeah, so it's just nice to just chill and listen to some familiar music. So let's get this one reviewed. I can still taste the other one because it was literally half an hour ago so I'm just wondering how they're gonna infuse coconut with it because it's quite a big bold flavor so let's give it a go it's nicely sort of room temperature now I think this can so wow <laughs> lovely and viscous um, nice tan head wasn't that too aggressive a pour but the heads very quickly disappearing. Let's give it a nose. Wow, I didn't expect that. It just smells like a bounty bar. You can smell the chocolate and the coffee and the coconut straight away. Oh, and you can smell that licorice as well from the base stout as well. But I'm surprised that coconut is punching through. It's doing its job. It, smell, it does, it smells like a bounty bar. If you've had a bounty bar, I think they're different in the States to the UK. But if you're in the UK, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Oh, I could just sit, sit here and sniff this all night. Right, let's give it a go. Cheers, guys. No way. As Don's beer review does, the thumb up. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. The initial hit is coconut and chocolate. It tastes like a bounty bar. Um, there's a nice thick body to it as well. It's not overly sort of groggy, but like a nice sort of thick body. Then you're given. Then you get those base notes coming through again. The um, the coconut, um, not the coconut, sorry, the chocolate, the coffee, and the bitterness. Um, the licorice, big time prominent as well. But somehow, that coconut is still sort of bubbling along with the flavours. Even in the aftertaste, I'm getting a bit of coconut. I really didn't expect that to work, but it really, really does, and it works very well. If I had to cho choose between the two, I don't know, because they're both as good as each other. Oh, oh, this is so nice. I'm just enjoying savouring it and just enjoying the buzz from it as well because it's a big beer. And it doesn't take much much for me to pass out these days. <laughs> so let's have one more go. It just makes me smile because... I just love coconut and chocolate and coffee. They're all like my favourite flavours. And they're all combined in this stout. Highly recommended. I think these cans are only about £3.60 or something like that. And they're big old stouts. So you're definitely getting your money's worth. I, I recommend checking out uh, By The Horns Brewery. They've got a really good range and it's really reasonable as well. I think their most expensive beer I've got is their Panatoni Stout. I think that was only about £4 something. So, yeah. Give it a go. Really, really give it a go. That is amazing. It's going to be another 10 out of 10. If you like bounty bars and licorice and coffee and chocolate and just life in general, then get this beer. It's amazing. Thank you very much.